Hey Tech Nidwit family, we got an awesome MV video for you guys tonight. We are going to be putting a 500 watt power supply and we are going to be putting a 3060 RTX in there. We are going to put an RX 6700 XT in there. We are going to be doing a versus video. We're going to see which one is going to be the best out of the both. You don't have to put the 500 watt power supply in with this guy, but you will have to do it with the 6700 XT. So guys, I'm going to make it quick and dirty. We're going to get right to the video and let's get this upgrade going. All right, guys, I'm going to get right into this upgrade of this wonderful Envy. We are going to come around the rear, and we are going to come and first attack this T5 Torx head that's in the rear right here, this black one. Go, get, go ahead and get our trusty iFixit kit out. And then let's go and turn this so you guys can see it. Grab this guy right here. Go ahead, and we need to get the side panel off. First card we are going to do is the 3060 because we don't need to upgrade the power supply with that guy. So if you're looking or in the market of getting a card, you can get the RTX 3060. Now that the low hash rate stuff is out, it should be a lot easier to obtain those cards. Nothing past 10.5, uh, unless you want to have to remove this drive, or 10.25 with this drive, but you can get very close to 10.3 force of an inch with uh, this, or 10.75 if you're looking at the fraction number. All right guys, so this upgrade's pretty easy. We're gonna come around this rear. We're also gonna get this screw right here. Can I show you that? Set this screw up to the side. This is going to be our little door. You're going to grab this tap and press out, and it's going to let this door open. And then we're going to grab our 3060, uh, RTX 3060. And let me show you guys how to kind of do this. Got to come like this. And you're going to line this up with up here. Line it up with the PCI 16X graphic card port. And just kind of jiggle and wiggle. Pop it in. Make sure it lines up back here. It's not lining up. There we go. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go. Now we're all the way in. You can go ahead and close your door. Oh, still not all the way in for some reason. There we go. Wasn't in all the way. So that can happen. Go ahead and close your door. And we're going to put that screw in right away because this is what holds the graphics card. There are no retaining screws like on other PCs to actually hold the graphics card in right here. So you might have to kind of shut that door. Go ahead and get that screw in. And then we are going to, the 8 pin power is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And we want to find our 8 pin power cable. Our, it's an actual uh, 6 plus 2. We want to merge the cable together. And then the latch on here goes towards the bottom, at least with this graphics card. It's kind of like you're jumanji this in here. Go ahead and make sure it snaps. Make sure you don't see any line in between right here. And then look on the top and make sure you don't see any gap there. It means you're fully seated. And that is pretty much this upgrade, guys. We are going to get a benchmark done, and then we are going to get the 6700 XT installed. You can see which one has won the war of attrition. I got the 3060 out of the way. We do have to upgrade the power supply to the 500 watt because the RX 6700 XT does need the 500 watt. We're going to come to the rear right here, and we are going to get these three screws out. Pull your power supply back and out. And we need to take our six pin right there, our four pin right here. Go ahead and unlash it from the bottom down there. And we need to come back and around. And can I get it back here? I don't, nope. I could probably get it out, but I don't think I'm gonna get it back in with this heat sink. So if you have this heat sink installed, you are gonna have to remove it to get the 500 watt in there. So give me a couple minutes, guys. I'm gonna get this guy pulled and then we'll get this guy installed. All right, guys, so we're gonna come to the top right here and we're gonna grab this guy out and feed him back around and snake out. And then one thing we are gonna have to do is remove our front hard drive because we are not gonna have the room with this card. Put that stuff off to the side. We're going to come around and we are going to grab these three tabs. One, two, three. Push forward, push forward, and push forward. The end comes out and it swings like a door. It's on and out. Go ahead, set that off to the side for a second. And All right, guys, there's one, two, three, four. I usually just take the top guys out first. Of course, you're going to want to hold the drive from the other side. Otherwise, it's going to go plumping out. I am going to see if I can retain this drive. We will attempt it. Not promising anybody anything, though because it just takes up so much room. If you really 
want to be gaming with this, this is only a one terabyte. You can go get a one terabyte SSD and just swap it in and out and then you're good to go. I am going to remove the drive for the time being just to give us some room in here. Set that off to the side. Let's go ahead and grab our 500 watt power supply. So how this goes in there, it's going to be like that with this, these grooves right here. That needs to be facing the inside. This groove right here needs to be facing the inside. So we're going to come in here, kind of latch it in and forward. There we go. We're going to grab our seven pin connector. That's the first one we put in. And then our next one's going to be our shortest four pin. So if we can ungaggle the cables right here. Oh, that's why it was so hard. Tuck me away, you crazy. Make sure you don't uh, collapse the cables like I just did right there. Go ahead and snap it forward. All right. So we have a long one. The brown cable right here should be the longest. That's going to go back up to the top. Remember that the tabby on here, this tab, this locking tab, it's got to go towards the rear. Go ahead and try to get it into the little tabs. And then we're going to take our second four pin and we are going to find the white connector at the bottom right here underneath the saddle. Be careful, there is another four pin here. If you accidentally remove it, it's black. That's not the one you want to put this in. And the tab goes towards the rear again. And then we got two cables left. This cable right here is not going to be used for anything. So you can kind of spool this guy up. Keep it up and out of the way. And then this guy is out right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab our 6700 XT and let's unbox this uh, awesome GPU, this big black mamma jamma of a, of a graphics card. This is what our card looks like. Kind of neat looking, actually. Of course, if you got this plastic on here, you want to remove this. This will melt. Do not install your graphics card with that. All right, guys, you know what I just realized? I cannot get this graphics card in with this big silver mamma jamma of a heat sink. So we're going to have to come here really quick, and we're going to have to undo the heat sink. I know I can get this in here with the graphics card in here. It's a lot harder, but it is doable. All right, guys, now that we got the heat sink out, we can come in here and we have some room for our 6700 XT. Kind of come in here, slot down. This thing is, uh, it's gonna be a tight fit. And you got this cable that always messes it up. There we go, we're in there like sin. That is in there, yes, it's feeling good. Come around the rear with the gear and we're gonna put our screw in to retain our graphics card. All right guys, we're gonna take our eight pin guy here and we have a six pin to eight pin adapter. And we're gonna go ahead and snap our female to male adapter in right there. And I'll have the two different kinds of these that you can order linked down in the description down below. And one of these we are gonna have to snap apart. So go ahead and push forward because we need a six pin and we need an eight pin. So go ahead and plug our 8-pin in first. I don't know if you guys can see that. We might need the right angle guys here, and I actually don't think I have a 6-pin right angle on me. But you can order them. You know, it'll allow us to close this case. SSD, unless we somehow put the, the drive up here. And that's all that stuff kind of pushed up and out of the way. Of course, without having the cages that go on right here, it's kind of hard. We are going to go ahead and throw our heat sink back in there. Maybe add a dab of thermal paste. There already is some on there. I'm not cleaning it off. It's not that old. One thing I like about syringes, if you put too much, you can pull it off. It's already a little bit too much on there as it is. Make sure you plug your PWM in first, <clears throat> the four pin. All right, guys, that's a graphics card installed, and we are going to get the Versus rocking and rolling. Let's see which uh, graphics card beats it out in the HP Envy, guys. 
Alright guys, we're going to enter into this benchmark. The RTX 3060 is going to be on the left and the RX 6700 XT AMD is going to be on the right. Of course, out of the gate, we're about 70 frames per second and the RTX 3060 can barely hold 60 down to 50 frames per second. We're almost at 80 on the right side. 90, 100, whoa, it's a nice little spike there. Off to the second graphics test and let's see uh, which one can compare. Yeah, that's not a good start. Definitely uh, dropping some frames on the RTX 3060 side. Uh, they both do have 12 gigabytes of RAM. So, I mean, the only difference here is gonna be the speed in the RAM. The memory clock is a little bit different. You have 1600 megahertz, 16,000 megahertz versus uh, 15,000 megahertz. They're both 192 bit uh, memory bus width and memory bandwidth uh, is 360 and the 3060, 384 gigabytes per second on the 6700 XT. Of course, the 6700 XT has a seven nanometer design and the 3060 RTX is an eight nanometer design. The thermal design power or TDP, the 3060 is a 170 watt design. And of course the RX 6700 XT is a 230 watt design. Overall, we did see between 20 and 45 frames difference leading towards the 6700 XT actually being a better card. Um, and that was overall DirectX 12, DirectX 11 benchmarks. All right, guys, we are going to get a super positioning set up and we're going to do a side by side versus to see which one knocks it out of the park. All right, guys, right at the gate, this is the super positioning benchmark. We are doing the 4K optimized. On the left is the RTX 3060, that's the NVIDIA. And the AMD is on the right corner, that's our RX 6700 XT. Of course, right out of the gate, we are pushing for the 3060 RTX, 67 frames. Our 6700 XT is pushing 81 frames max. Uh, of course, the average is looking pretty good here so far. I am going to say that uh, the wattage on the RTX 3060 is about 150, 160, and our RTX 6700 XT is almost getting up to about 200 watts. So guys, it is looking very well. This benchmark is rock and rolling. Both these cards are smoking fast and are doing a good job. It is starting to look like the RX 6700 XT is the clear winner. You know, I look on some of the benchmarks and user reviews and they say like 10, 13%, but I, I don't know the numbers that I'm seeing. It's way over. It's more like 10 or 20% uh, overall. It's, it's definitely looking out like the clear winner is going to be the RX 6700 XT. The RTX 3060 scored 6,632, and the FPF average for that card was 49.61. FPS min was 41.51. GPU temp for this 3060 got to 68 Celsius. CPU temp got to around 46 Celsius. FPX mass was 60.59. The UGIN score for the RX 6700 XT was 9,257. And of course, we scored an FPF average of 69.24. FPS min was 54.99. GPU temp hit 65 Celsius. CPU temp hit 47 Celsius. FPX mass was 83.32. The utilization was at 98% for this GPU. The clear winner is the 6700 XT, y'all. With the UGen benchmark, it was about a 13% increase in frames for the 6700 XT. Uh, really, I was really surprised with the numbers, guys. The 6700 XT totally whooped the... RTX uh, 3060, I mean, bars down, hands none, better graphics card to have into this computer. One thing that I will say is you're gonna have to move your up hard drive up like this, and I'm gonna show you really quick, I know she's on. It's a pretty simple thing to do. Pretty much all you gotta do is get the grill right here and line two screws up, and you can hold it up up top up here. So you just get two of these, crank them on down. I did put a piece of uh, gaff tape, you put a piece of electrical tape, or even a piece of duct tape just uh, on the backboard, so it's against here, it doesn't, uh, fry out or anything like that but other than that yeah i thought it was going to be a pretty even score but yeah we've seen almost a 45 frames difference in the 6700 xt it by far was better by far was a better graphics card by far got rid of heat better um, all that stuff you guys are going to see that of course in the versus you're like well this is your conclusion you know of course i'd say if you can get both the graphics cards you know do it they're both awesome graphics cards but right now these are more available because of mining so if you want to go ahead and get yourself a 66 or 6700 xt and you want to be off to the races gaming greatly do it because that's going to be the way to go um i thank all my subscribers i thank everybody that comments thank you guys so so much if you need any help concerns questions anything like that i'm always there i'm trying to answer them 
trying to get back to comments as fast as possible. I am here to help you. Of course, you know, you guys help me out by viewing and liking and commenting. And I, in turn, give you my knowledge and in part help onto you. I think that's how YouTubers should be. I think everybody should help each other. So guys, this was another Tech Netwood Productions and thank you for watching.